October's chance to buy now is for a stock that's a specialist in their field of work. They're basically a software company that provides technological solutions for those in the public, finance and healthcare sectors. Their main aim is to make things easier for their customers by making their workplaces more efficient. But what I really like about this stock is that it stands a good chance of remaining unaffected by this whole pandemic guys, because guess what, if a company wants their employees to work from home or in a specific allocated building, they're still going to need software companies like this stock right here in order to ensure that they're able to run as efficiently as possible. But enough boasting about what this stock has to offer, I bet you guys want to know what stock I'm on about, right? Well, before we do just that, make sure to do me a favour, guys, by smashing the like button, sharing this video too, and subscribing with the notification bell on as well. So enough waiting, the stock that's made my shares to buy now video in October 2021 is for a company called Kainos, or Kainos. I'm probably butchering the name here, guys. Apologies. But it has a ticker symbol of K-N-O-S dot L in the London Stock Exchange. So you'll know you're onto the right one if you see that ticker symbol. And when you look at their P ratio, it can probably put off a lot of investors. Because they have a P ratio of 58, guys. And you guys know me. I normally like to invest in stocks with a P ratio lower than 30. Because the lower the P ratio, the more undervalued the stock is. I.e. the more of a bargain you can get. But put into context that they actually recently came onto the stock market about six years ago. It makes a lot of sense why this P ratio is so high. This is something that I believe that they should be working on further on down the years. But this is the most interesting part guys. When you look across all six years, their share price has increased by almost 10 times guys. So you know, you put in a grant, after it, you get 10 grand back. You put in 10 grand after it, you get 100 grand back, and so on. This is crazy when you think about it. And if that doesn't make you want to look into this stock further, then you're going to want to check out their financials, starting off with an income statement. Yep, and the way this stock's revenue is increasing throughout the years is simply remarkable. We're talking of an alarming rate here, guys. It's roughly increasing by 20 to 30% compared to the previous year. But unfortunately, so is the operating cost doing the same too, with each year topping the previous one. But the juiciest part of the income statement, as we all know, is the net income. How much money does this stock get to keep? And fortunately, we can see that this stock is increasing throughout the years, guys. This is what you want to see the most in the income statement. Moving on to the balance sheet now. And when I talk about how I want to see a stable balance sheet, yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Because just in their short-term assets alone, they're able to cover their short-term liabilities roughly twice over. And when you look at the long-term assets, which is the difference between the total assets and the long-term liabilities, you can see that this stock can cover it almost several times more over. This just screams stability to me. But that's enough of the balance sheet. Let's move on to a cash flow statement now. And when you look at the cash from operating activities, surprise, surprise, guys, you can see that this stock has increased throughout the years, which is impressive to see. Although what I will say though is that the jump from 2019 to 2020 may not have been as large as you would have expected. But then this gets quickly overshadowed. When you look at their most recent year and compare it to 2020, they've almost doubled, guys. So that means they're making twice as much money in their daily operations. This is quite the feat. And the cash from investing activities is also good too, guys. It's getting more and more negative throughout the years. As an investor, you want to see that wherever you put your money, the company that you invest your money in is also investing too. Otherwise, if they're not investing, you're investing in a dead cause, a dead end, guys, which doesn't make any sense. And equally so, the cash from financing activities is also getting more and more negative throughout the years. This is also the sign that you want to see as an investor, because it shows this company is more concerned with paying back their borrowers and debtors than they are with taking out more debt. Which heavily implies that this stock's got a lot of money to pay off with. All in all, guys, I know I make shares to buy videos each and every month, 
and they are already the creme de la creme of stocks that I find for you guys, you know, that are really good and have a lot of potential if you research into them further. This one is up there for one of the best, I'm not going to lie, because just the rate at which this share price is increasing, the amount of money that they're making, net income, and you know, they're looking to invest more money, it just seems, just screaming to me that this stock has got a lot more to offer. But the key part is potential and it's up to you guys to do the research and ensure that this stock really is what it can seem to be in the future. I'll leave that for you guys to answer. But that's the end of my video guys. If you've researched into the stock kind of, you know, or you're looking to do it in the future and you find some really important information, then yeah, let me know guys down in the comment box below. I'll be really interested to see what you find out. And whilst you're there, make sure to like this video, share it too, and subscribe with notification bell on as well. It's your favourite YouTuber, DSM Finance, sharing my thoughts, my experiences with you guys every Sunday at 3pm. Have a great day, people. Bye. Whoa. Whoa.